and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith and for today's video I am filming a prep with me. So every Monday I go to the grocery store and meal prep for the week and I am running really late. It is already like 12.30 right now. I'm about to brush the grocery store, get everything I need, pop back and then make lunch and then meal prep. So I'll do a little grocery haul for y'all when I get home, everything I got to the grocery store and then show y'all some of the stuff we got at the farmer's market yesterday as well. Today, we will be making the components for shepherd's pie, a green Thai curry, and a tropical summer salad. Those are the meals that I'm prepping for this week for lunches and dinners, so I hope you're excited, and remember to check the description box down below for all the recipes. All right, let me whoosh to the grocery store and we'll be back to start meal prepping in just a moment for you guys. <laughs> okay, hello, I'm back from the store. I had lunch. Now I'm gonna show you everything I got and we're gonna get to meal prepping. Actually, I'm gonna clean my kitchen before we can start meal prepping, but I am gonna sh sh mm, Yeah, I'm gonna show you everything we got first and then I have to finish cleaning up the kitchen. This weekend I made a cake for a kid's birthday party. I'll pop a picture of it here. So my kitchen is still a little messy. Gotta put everything away from that. But other than that, um, let me show you real quick whatever, what, what I got at the grocery store. I forgot to bring my bags. Cause it's kind of an off day. So at least they have paper. Um, I got some mushrooms, some baby bellas. Let's see, we got lemongrass mint, thyme, and cilantro because I love cooking with fresh herbs and spices, oh, chocolate milk, green lentils, I got tempeh and tofu. These are things I just like to keep on hand so I can throw together quick easy meals like at the end of the week whenever we run out of the meal prep stuff. I got some cashew butter because we are out of this. This is great for making dressing, specifically Caesar dressing some bamboo shoots, and a can of tomato paste. Beautiful head of romaine, as well as a beautiful head of purple curly lettuce. Sugar snap peas. I wanted to get snow peas, but they didn't have any, so we're gonna go with sugar snap peas. Avocados, a shallot, a tomato, a couple of mangoes, strawberries, ginger, fresh limes, and fresh lemons. So that is everything that I got at the grocery store today. Not a whole bunch, because we got a whole bunch of produce at the farmer's market yesterday, which you will see me use some of it today, but.
you'll notice that I did not make the green curry today. I only chopped up the vegetables for it and made sure that I had all the ingredients. I also did not chop up the herbs for it yet because I find that if you chop up the herbs just before cooking with them, it's much fresher, more fragrant, more flavorful. So I'm going to cut those up right before I use them, which will only take me a minute because the rest of the veggies are already cut. So this is something that I do that I don't think a lot of people that meal prep do is I will cut up all the veggies, measure out ingredients, but not cook the thing until the night of because that way it's fresher. It's still cooking a fresh meal, kind of like these meal prep services send you all the ingredients and all you have to do is cook it. I create my, my own meal kit. A lot of people that I've talked to don't like meal prepping because they feel like their food is bad by the fourth or fifth day or they feel like reheating food more than once or twice is no longer satisfying. But you don't have to completely cook something to meal prep. I find doing this makes throwing a dinner together rather quick and easy and I still get a very fresh dinner. Now I don't have all of the ingredients on the table for the green curry that I'm going to make. You'll see all of that tomorrow when I do actually throw it together because I will show y'all cooking it. You will see that I made two of these shepherd's pies. I tend to make two dinners and cook them like every other day so the other shepherd's pie is in the oven right now for dinner tonight. This one will go in the fridge, it won't get baked yet, and then when I go to bake it, it will be much fresher because it will be its first time being baked. If I had baked both of them tonight, this one wouldn't get touched. Or if I had baked it in a big pan, half of the pan wouldn't get touched, and rebaking it might dry it out. So that's why I like doing casseroles in like separate dishes for every night that you're going to cook it. So I hope that these kind of tips and showing you how I meal prep is helpful. I cannot stress this enough that just the pure fact of like cutting up your fruits and veg is a huge step in meal prepping and the most important step. I did not get time to prep my lunch stuff, so cutting up the lettuce and washing it and cutting up the fruit, stuff like that. I will have to do that tomorrow as well. But I got the majority of the meal prepping, the dinner stuff, which I think is the most important because that's what takes me the longest to prep. I'm gonna put all this away and I think we're done for today, but I will see you tomorrow when I throw together this green curry. And I think the recipe for the lunch salad is gonna go in next week's video because I'm also filming a what I eat in a week right now. So. I will have that recipe in the what I eat in a week, so check that out next week. All right, I need to clean up the kitchen while dinner is in the oven and sit down and relax for a little bit because I'm tired. I've been on my feet prepping stuff. Also, look at this, look at this beautiful, just absolutely gorgeous purple Thai basil that we got from Bolden Forest Foods at the farmer's market. Thai basil is one of my favorite types of basil and this is just, I saw it and I immediately knew I was making Thai food this week because it's just so gorgeous. I'm trying to pull a piece out. Just, I might actually try and propagate it so I could grow some because I love this kind of basil so much. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> I love colorful foods. But I will try and propagate it tomorrow, I think, whenever I do pull it out so I can use up what I need first. Yeah, okay.
Dodge Gamble, given that the prize is Leonard. <laughs> then I'm gonna stimulate the analogous area in the brain of a rhesus monkey and see if he cries. What did she say when you told her? I don't know. She hasn't responded to my email yet. <laughs> All the more shame that we fall upon the from between the teeth of crocodiles. Please fly into our So Benny, I didn't do the audition. Give him the I... I think that idea is is guided and oral. Thank you for hanging out with me today while I meal prepped. Don't forget you can get the full recipes down below, so make sure to check the description box. Let me know which recipe it was your favorite or if you try any of them. I would love to hear if you enjoyed them. All right, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.